on Nottingham 9343434. Uh, Mark Dennison is making his way into the studio because um, not just the likes of uh, my empty mind can be read, a really fine mind. <laughs> Like oh, sorry, he can't be here. He can't be here at the moment. <laughs> Before that, though, Mark, what do you make of this, right? The Newark advertiser challenged Looch to, a, to do a stunt and um, they wanted you to predict the score of a rugby match. And then, when you accepted it, they then put a load of conditions on it. And what did they say you had to do? Um, well, the, the entire control was taken away from me. And um, after I'd accepted the initial challenge, even though I knew nothing about rugby, um, they said that the police had got involved and they wanted to put some stipulations in. Those stipulations were that I had to bring the prediction sealed in an envelope uh, 24 hours prior to the match. It would be handed over to the police who would then put it in a tamper-proof evidence bag and lock it into one of their, one of their time vault safes, what they used to store evidence. Um, it had a password in it to stop anyone from getting in. The only person who knew the password was the police officer who put it in initially. I wasn't allowed at the match. Uh, they had people there to stop me from coming. <laughs> um, so they, they really went to town on it. And, and you weren't even allowed to know, apparently, the score of the, the match. The score, yes. Um, to the point where, you know, they undid the envelope. Yep. You were kept from knowing the score. They wouldn't tell the score until the actual prediction, the piece of paper, was in the hands of the, um, the journalist or photographer, whoever it was, from the advertiser. It was quite a difficult thing to do. And what happened? Um, I did really well. I managed to get the score right. Um, Which was? It was 39-3 to Newark. Um, but in addition to that, I thought I would try and flip it a little bit and make it um, even more impossible. So I looked at the score. If you look at it, it's 39 minus 3 as a sum, you would get to 36. And that was the number safe that the police decided to hide the prediction in. So, um, so I predicted that paper. as well. I also predicted what the police would mark the envelope with. I think in their head they must have had some sort of method already and they wanted to stop me from doing that method. And that method must have been to use some sort of sleight of hand, like a magic trick, and switch the envelope. Um, so they marked the envelope to make it impossible it like for doodle. you to duplicate. They drew, a, a, I think it was a three-dimensional box on there or something like that. And you predicted um, so that? So I predicted that as well, yeah, just to, uh, to make it even more <laughs> impossible. Uh, and at that point, I think they sort of gave up um, <laughs> thinking. Uh, and I was I was really proud of it, really. That, <laughs> it I mean, so that is something so amazing. You'd see that on Primetime BBC One, wouldn't you? Yeah. But there it was in the Newark Advertiser. No, not taking anything away from the Newark <laughs> Advertiser, but that is so clever. How do you do that? Uh, oh, crikey, it's a mixture of all sorts of things going on, but, but one of them is being able you, to... Um, I want to do it. To be able to create that illusion that it, what it could you have seen could possibly be real. And that's almost like... What I do is, is something called mentalism, which is magic of the mind. So what you see could potentially be real and it resonates on a, on a bit of a deeper level. Okay, doke. Right. What... <laughs> can you do to amaze us with Mark Dennison's brain? Well, he's Mark, been trying enough for years and he's not managed it. <laughs> Mark, I mean, literally, you've just come in now, you didn't know that you were going to help out and we haven't nope. set anything up. No, nope. No, nope. brilliant. OK, um, could I ask you to do me a drawing? A doodle of some sort? Do we have yeah, a pen sure. and paper? I've, I've brought some um, okay. post-it notes in a pen. If you can do the doodle, but make sure that neither me or Fran see what you're drawing, I'll right. turn away. Right. And once you've done it, if you peel off the post-it note and just hide it somewhere in your pocket. It can be of anything at all. Anything you Does it want. need to be an animal or an anything. object? Anything. Don't give me any clues. As long as we can see and understand what it would be. Yeah. OK, fine. Okay. I'm going to do that right now. OK. <laughs> So I'm doodling. We should have some little, uh, yeah, that's exactly it. One of us is in tune. La la. La 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 la. Have we done it yet? Yeah. Sorry, I just I don't like to rush these things. It's proper doodle. Right. Okay. Now, can I turn back round? There's nothing for me to see. No, I'll I'll put it in my pocket. Okay. And I don't want to touch the the post-it notes neither because I don't know if they still do it, but I got accused of using carbon paper once, which would be a lot way of doing this. Yeah. Um, however, I don't, and I'm going to try and find out what you've drawn okay. by asking you a series of questions. Go on. So, do you remember the game 20 questions when you were at school? Yes. Okay. So I have a condensed version of that. It's yeah. called two questions. <laughs> Your response from those two questions will give me a rough indication of what you've drawn. I'm about 85 to 90% accurate. Right. Um, if I'm not bang on, then it might make more sense to you 
but I want to be at least, you know, halfway there. Right. OK, so um, is this man-made, organic or abstract? It what? is man-made. Brilliant. And if you could give it a colour, not necessarily the colour of um, the object. For example, if it, was a, if it was a carrot you drew, then you would say orange. Yeah. But I don't want you to give me too many clues, so if this colour gives it away, then you can give it a colour that's in some way associated with it. Right. Well, it's not just one colour. Perfect. So you can give me any colour associated. OK. Green. Green. OK. Right. That should be enough clues. Um, so imagine a screen in front of us, like a cinema screen, mm -hmm. and project the image onto there. Yeah. Uh, and once you project the image, just do it as a line drawing, just like what you've drawn, mm -hmm. and then start to fill it with colour. So you'd be filling this part of this with green, yeah. and there would be... Would there be a black in there as well? There would be some black. Perfect. Right, OK. And I'm going to go with... And I'm not a very good drawer, so I'm hoping you can tell what this is. There's some detail on there. You are, you're quite a creative character, so you would probably add some of your personality into there. So I think you would probably do something like this. OK. Uh, I've committed myself. I have done the drawing. It's face down on the table. I'm not yeah. going to show anyone just yet, but can I see what drawing you did, Mark? Yes. Okay. Let me see as well. There we are. It looks yes. like a car. It's Look a car. It's a car with it's an exhaust car. pipe on. Yeah, for the length of time we had to sing during that, I <laughs> thought it would be a better car. But... You need to plan these things, Fran. <laughs> these things don't just happen. Okay. That is true, that is true. And you said that you added the uh, the exhaust pipe in. That was yeah. you adding your element of personality in there. Um, would you like to see what I drew? I would love to. If you can turn it around and tell everyone at home. And you've done an exhaust <laughs> pipe on your car as well, haven't you? Well, I certainly did. It's quite Show incredible. Fun. Wow, it's very similar. We could do... I, that would make a lovely picture, you see. We can let people uh, compare. Before the best, and after. Yeah, we could take a photograph photo of that and get that online. That'd yeah. be fantastic. That was good. Incredible. Very good. I would love to know how you do that. Is it because when you're asked to doodle something, there are only so many things people think of? The, that's an interesting point. I mean, I must have done this maybe you know, two, three thousand times something like that and I was booked to do the the clothes show last year at the NEC and the majority um, of the, obviously a, a widely female audience there we were having flowers love hearts and snails I don't know why but snails, snails. were a really popular drawing that maybe year. that's something that everybody likes to draw because it's easy it is it's that start with the swirl and yeah. you work your way yeah. out whereas when I do this with guys it tends to be that geometrical you know straight line thing a house or a car yeah. or something like that I'd put money that. on that being a bicycle for you Mark because really? you're a I cyclist I can't draw a bike no it's too, are, too difficult I was paranoid difficult. as well I thought you were going to be watching me looking out of the window because as I look out the window here there are loads of cars going down London Road so I thought don't look at the window because they will automatically <laughs> think oh he's watching cars there we are that That's is very clever good. stuff Woo. yeah you. absolutely you, okay you we're gonna, we'll have another hooray man. for that hooray <laughs> uh, Looch has a website and uh, it is looch.co.uk that's uh, easy. You're going to hang around a few minutes, aren't you? Of course. Because we have.